and welcome back to Gapey's Grill Room. Today we're going to start our seeds that have germinated into some seed starting mix. And the things that I'm going to use here are some gloves, the seeds of course, and I like to use Jiffy seed starting mix, but you can use any seed starting mix. I just have pretty good luck with the Jiffy brand. Um, and then I'm going to plant, plant them into these six pack uh, seed containers. And these are actually a little bit oversized. They're a lot bigger than the traditional six pack cells. And then I've got a bucket for the soil. And I've got some water, and this is warm water. And then something to stir. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by putting my gloves on. You might also need a pair of scissors to open our bag of potting mix. And when you get this seed starting mix, it's very, very dry, so we need to wet, wet it before we use it. So I'm just gonna use this other container to pour this in. So I fill about three fourths of the way to the top. And then we'll take our water. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there and then mix it up. So it should just hold together when you squeeze it. So you, it, it's not sopping wet that any water comes out when you squeeze it, but it should hold itself together. So that should be just perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and fill our trays up. You just want to pat these down just a little bit. You don't need to push them too hard. And since these are larger six packs, the seedlings should be able to stay in these for at least a couple of months before you need to transfer them to a larger container. So that's why I really like these larger size six packs. It's a lot less work. But since this is seed starting mix, you'll have to add some fertilizer once they start getting a lot bigger. Okay, let's get our seeds put in there. Here we're gonna start with our MOA Yellow Scotch Bonnets. And we're gonna hope that the seeds aren't stuck in the paper towel. Now what I like to do is use a toothpick to kind of separate the seeds from the paper towel. And usually it should come off pretty easily, but sometimes if the seed, if the root is growing too, too long, it might be kind of stuck in there. And this one looks like it might be a little stuck. So you, if it's in there too far, then you might need to cut around it. This one actually isn't too bad. And then this last one, looks like it's stuck a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Just wanna be really careful not to break the root. Um, Okay, so I think we're ready to go ahead and put that in the seed starting mix. Since we have three seeds here, I'm just going to put three holes on one side here. And we're just going to plant them maybe a half an inch deep. And you want to plant it so the seed is facing up and the root is facing down. If it goes in sideways, just Carefully push it down with the toothpick and pull the seed section up so it's facing the right direction. That looks good. Okay, and then the last one. This one, the root is kind of just folded over the top. So I'm just going to place that one this way here and hopefully it will go the right direction so you want the seed facing up so the seed is on top and the root is on the bottom okay a little bit further and just cover that up okay and so we have the right side 
with the MOA yellow. So I'm going to put the label over here. So that shows that this whole row is the MOA yellow. Okay, and then we're going to go take a look and see what else we have that is ready to be planted. Let's try the MOA red scotch bonnet. Be nice to have both of those in the same container. There we go. Okay. okay, it looks like we've got a really long one here. Actually, it looks like this one is so long that it tore off of the seed. So I'm not sure which seed this was attached to, so I don't think that one is going to make it. That's one reason you should check these often to make sure they don't get that long because they can easily break off. So we have two left, it looks like. It doesn't look like the other two have a, any root attached, so it looks like we'll only have two of these to get planted. So we'll go ahead and put those in here. I'm going to go ahead and try and plant this one that doesn't have the seed attached just to see if it might grow. You never know, it might, so it'll be a, an interesting experiment. So I'm really hoping to have three of each. So if it doesn't grow, I'll probably start another couple seeds just so that I have three. Okay, so we have our plants. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wet the top with the spray bottle. So we wanna keep it nice and wet, but not too wet. Now these don't really need any light um, until they break the surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the heat mat without any light and then just check on them every day until I start seeing them pop out of the ground then I'll start um, putting the lights on for about 12 hours a day. I'm going to go ahead and move this. Okay, so we have this probe. We're going to go ahead and just put it on the side of the, the middle tray, the middle cell, and that'll get the temperature reading. And we're going to lower it down to 75. Okay, because it's still pretty cold in here. So we'll just leave that sit and check on it every day to make sure, um, see how the germination is. Oh, and I forgot to put my label in here, so let me go grab that. This was the MOA Red. Okay. Well, another thing I'm going to do, I have these, these covers here, so I'm just going to move these down a little bit. And this will help keep the heat in as well as the moisture. So that should help keep it warm in there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the seed. To help hold the heat in some more, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with this blanket. So I've got all of the seeds in there now. The only one that had bad germination was the Dorset Naga. Only one of those germinated. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a few more of those and see if I can get a few more. We'll check back again in a few days.